Now for this week's Pro Bike, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, taking a look at the Icon Explore. Now this is a bike I've been desperate to get my hands on. Um, I've seen videos online and some photos. It's an incredible machine. Now what this does is takes people who have got disabilities or riding difficulties up into the mountains, out trail riding and enjoying mountain biking just like everybody else with this incredible machine. So we're gonna take a look at some of the details that are on this bike, some of it's mountain biking, some of it's just crazy bespoke genius stuff. Let's take a look, it's the Icon Explore. Rear hub and, hello mate, how are you? Like it? Now obviously it's a very dynamic machine and you can see that it's got two wheels up front so it's really stable, this huge fat tire at the back, tons of grip and tons of power which we're going to get to, great steering but this is the really special bit about it, check this out, it leans, it's the only machine in the world that does this, it's incredible, it's articulated front end means that this bike can traverse bits of trail that a three-wheeled bike for adapted sports could never do. Okay, let's start at the cockpit and the things that we'll recognize, Thompson stem, and we've got Eastern bars, their Havens, MT7 rear brake, Magura obviously, and then another Magura up the front, we've got the Evo 5, with a junction down in the middle here, which splits, so that brake lever there is working both of the front 203 rotors uh, for some serious stopping power up the front. Hope hubs on these 20 inch wheels, uh, they're Pro 4s, and we've got Creepy Crawler Max's tyres on the front, that's actually a 20 inch trials tyre, serious grip, so when you put on that anchor, this baby's going to stop pretty quick. Now the rider being secure on the bike is crucial to the design of this weapon, so it's got a really clever solution to that. This ride engine kite surfing harness holds the rider in place so he can't go anywhere else other than right there because they need to be absolutely stable on this bike. Rear wheel sits on a Salsa 170 hub and a surly fat bike rim this huge tyre, I do love fat bike tyres, they're amazing. And you're probably distracted by this incredible 3000 watt electric motor. Drives this machine along at an absolutely incredible pace with incredible grip with this rear tyre. It's all held in place with quite beautiful CNC work. We've got pannier mounts at the back here, so you can not only take yourself out in the mountains, but you can take anything you require whilst you're out there. All of the gubbins for the battery and the electronics is held in place here and it's all surrounded by this beautiful carbon fibre fender that's actually structural, you can see that going down and it's part of the suspension system with that Fox float giving you some really plush back end movement. So this is the man, Christian Bag, who designed it, made it. Christian, how did you come up with this idea and how long has it taken? Uh, I'll give you the short version of the story. Yeah. Uh, it was. I was on a backcountry trip with my not yet wife, uh, sit skiing, cross country sit skiing, and every tree we went by, and if you're familiar with the outdoors, there's plenty of them. Yeah. Every tree I went by, I would tip towards it because that's where the snow's softer, yeah. and I would fall into the tree well, making for a long, long backcountry trip and a very frustrated soon to be wife. So I, I, had, I went back home to the drawing board and thought how do I get one ski to go do what a knee does. Yes. Um, and I, I solved it and I, so I made this articulating framework and when I was making these bikes or starting making a, an off-road bike it dawned on me one day after tipping into trees with rocks around instead of snow that I could flip this front end, this thing, this framework that I made and allow me to, to sort of navigate the same sort of terrain in the summer as I was in the winter. So you've obviously got a little bit of a technical mind. You must have some background in this that's not just like every day. Yeah, so I'm a machinist by trade. Uh, when I broke my back, I was doing my apprenticeship and I went back to work sort of about a year after and 
and I'm tall, I'm six foot five, and so immediately I had to make my own wheelchair because my the chair didn't fit me. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've been I've been sort of building and solving problems my entire wheelchair life. So how long has this project taken you? Because it's an incredible amount of work. There's so many parts to it that are ingenious. How long does that take? Uh, well, it's been it's been the better part of ten years on the on the bike. Probably the ski closer to fifteen. Um, so it's really going from wheelchairs to cross country skis to the bike to sort of everything. As, as you know, everything we do as a person who uses a wheelchair, we're reliant on a piece of technology. Yeah, yeah. So I've been focused on those pieces of technology for the last two decades. So it really is the culmination of two decades. Wow, and, and so in, in that time, there must have been an awful amount of testing. What's, what's its limit? Because I mean, it's so powerful. I mean, you said this one's even more powerful than the one you're on yeah. right there. I mean, what, what can it do? Well, it's funny because when I started doing it, it was to make it hike up, you know, mountains to, to go with my family. And then it got a bit too fast for hiking. Yeah. And then it was like, well, I could go test it with a friend on a bike and we could sort of share that time. Yeah. And then one day I got the call from that friend and he said, let's go out to the mountains. And I'm thinking we're going on a test ride and I show up and there's 15 people going for a mountain bike ride. I'm on the weekly ride and I don't know it and I'm terrified because I, I don't know what its limits are and I go and lo and behold you go mountain biking on this now so uh, and then just this week a friend took me down some some downhill stuff here in in Squamish and Whistler and again didn't know and lo and behold it it works yeah, so it's yeah, kind I've, of a, I've seen you riding in Whistler and it's going well yeah it's yeah. it's amazingly fun and what what's and what's next I mean you, you you must have a pretty busy mind, so what, what is going to... Well, it really is as far along as I think it need be to, to satisfy all the things that I wanted it to do. Yeah. So it's getting it out into the, into the hands of, of everyone else to, to use it and experience the things that I've been experiencing. Um, on two levels, people like yourself and like me, but we also have a version with a smaller rear wheel for uh, like kids. Um, or people with sort of less ability but still want to access you know the nature around us um, I love going fast and I think you love going fast but I almost love watching the people who can't go fast experience that more yeah it's kind of crazy yeah that's crazy well I've just thought there are two of them yeah I mean it would be rude not to wouldn't it I think it would be yeah wouldn't it let's do it <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oops, sorry dude. I find it really hard. My brain just wants to do the opposite yeah. thing. Thanks for watching this amazing pro bike on the Icon Explore. Thank you, Christian, for coming along. If you want to, honestly, dog, really, if you want to subscribe to the channel, why don't you click on the logo just there? And if you want to see my Canyon Sender Pro Bike, then click just here. And if you'd like to see more of the Pro Bike playlist, you can click here. And you've only got one thing left to do give us a thumbs up, like.